they are disembodied spirit it means that they don't have a body to occupy so they are looking for a body to occupy anytime they occupy a body they cause sickness but when they don't occupy a body they may be demons i get my point now but immediately they have a body that they occupy the body allow them to stay there for a while they begin to cause a sickness so a lady can be sleeping around messing around for one year two years three years four years it's okay what she doesn't know is that she's hosting the spirit after a while she begins to have sickness that are uncurable what she does not understand is that these things are not medically inclined they are demonically inclined so you are able to deal with sexually transmitted disease and abort i mean hinder pregnancy what about those spirits that went those spirits will still bring those sickness one way or the other because the spirit they will take a nature that is not godly and because they take a nature that is not godly they will begin to exercise dominion because when you study from genesis to revelation there was no time that god gave the devil dominion so no spirit on the earth that was looked upon by god and given dominion dominion was only given to man so that man can rule supreme but the day that a man decide to allow himself and permit a spirit gain dominion over him that day man become lower and that spirit become higher so instead of the man to be able to live as he please he begin to live as the spirit please and that is the reason why service such as this what we do is to ensure that we exercise the strength and the power of god and expel the devil out of our lives and do you see another thing again do you realize that demons are really responsible for failures they want to let you know that they are there so they will not you will not realize that the demon is there if your life is prospering so it will ensure that you fail at certain things so that you realize that somebody is willing to help and that is why if you observe many more times when spirit possess and they begin to make them fail again and again and again in every aspect of life every aspect every aspect maritally business relationship academy anything is the truth everything you do fail in fact you and you can submit an appointment they will give this one they will leave this one why the demon force you to ensure that this one is not given to tell you that i am here or i'm in charge of because the spirit was not designed to prosper you it was designed to punish you if you don't understand what i'm saying so when you see consistent cycle of failure check again in every aspect of your life not everything is processed some are foolishness some are demons there are people that apply all the principles they are too wise yet again there is a level of failure a spirit is involved so in the day that spirit leaves suddenly you begin to prosper how many of us sometimes you just went to do something and at night you have an encounter with the spirit the spirit contend with you and you wake up and you fail in it you wanted to go and write an exam and immediately a spirit came and slept with you at night and when you went you failed woefully you wanted to go for something and as you were just about to go a spirit you have been okay but just an opportunity was about to come and at that night you cannot sleep for the past two days a spirit come to keep on visiting you coming to you always intercourse with you coming to force you into something it was transferring and infusing itself inside of you to project the nature of failure and suddenly something that was supposed to be done well for you begin to become evil why because a spirit came and exercised dominion some of us are okay until when it's time for exam you start falling sick ah, why can't you be sick when the semester starts some of you are very healthy now when it's close to time for exam one unnecessary weakness and everything just enter you uh -uh, it's a spirit and the design was to ensure that you fail and that is why you must rule supreme and one of the way is to believe in your mind that you are not supposed to be under any kind of affliction so the bible says if you can only believe if you can only believe so do you believe in your mind anytime jesus christ does any miracle he say go your faith has healed you so it takes me down to the next point the power of faith belief is good but faith is better hope is a thing of the mind and hope is upon the anchor of how much more you believe but faith is an anchor in your spirit because there are days and time 
where everything in your mind will not make sense but in your spirit will make sense and when it makes sense in your spirit it can still make sense on the earth many of the things we see we do it doesn't make sense in the mind have you gone through a situation eh? go with me to Hebrews chapter 1 okay let's go to 11 because I don't have time I could have shown you what the writer of Hebrews meant because in the book of Hebrews chapter 1 the writer of the book of Hebrews what he meant is that in time past God will speak to our fathers by the prophet and now he's speaking to his son who he has made heir of all things upholding everything by the word of his power what their writer was trying to introduce is a work of faith Hebrews chapter 1 God who has sundressed time and in diverse manners spoken to our fathers by the prophet he has in this last day choose to speak to us through his son who he has made heir of all things upholding everything by the word of his power it then means that now you don't need to really hear God through the prophet you don't even need to hear God through whatsoever you know before you hear him through his son and this his son now has came upon the face of the earth and lived and went away so now we encounter and relate with him by faith so when you went further to Hebrews 11 from 1 he said now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by it the elders obtain a good report he said through faith we understand that the whole world we are framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen we are made by things we do not appear and now father said by faith Abel offer unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by faith you obtain witness that he was righteous because God testified of his gift and by it he being dead he speak what we saw in Hebrews 11 from 1 is that it is impossible for us to please God without faith 